This is Ryan, Rack Computer Academy. Uh, today, I would like us to look at things one should consider before buying yourself a PC. Uh, but before we start off, I hope everyone you are still safe in this in these trying moments of coronavirus. It's very pandemic. It's everywhere. People are dying. People are suffering. They are intensive care units. We just have to continue praying so that God can save us from this. Otherwise, keep protecting yourself. Keep washing your hands. Keep doing each and everything which can keep yourself from this. The things one should consider before buying a PC. What would you consider before buying yourself a PC? You know, you can't just wake up one morning and do, and walk into a shop and then buy the laptop a salesman is selling to you without knowing its pros and cons. So, here are the eight things you would consider before buying it, before buying yourself a PC. Everyone has the purchasing power, but how much can you really spend on buying a laptop? It's the question you should always ask yourself before buying one. For example, if you are a student, your purchasing power will be lower than that of like a, will be lower than like that one who is already working. You can't have the same purchasing power because for him is earning and for you are not earning. So of course you can't buy the same laptop because you have your purchasing power is very low for him if he goes into a shop and he finds that the laptop he wants is this he can pay for an amount he'll ask because he's earning and he's working but for your case your purchasing power is constant you can't increase it so you should always consider it before buying it Let me explain this in layman term. The CPU is the main part of a laptop which defines the speed of the processor for any task. So in short, if you want to multitask on your laptop, you should buy one which has a powerful processor. Otherwise, your laptop will end up hanging every time you try to multitask it. Like if you do multitasking on your laptop, your laptop will always hang, will freeze because it is of a lower processor. So it depends on what you are going to use your laptop. That's when you should consider like you focus so much on the processor. Otherwise your laptop will end up hanging every time. Most laptops come with the, an Intel or AMD CPU brand. Both are decent performers but Intel is considered more powerful than the AMD. But most of the times, Intel processors are more expensive than the AMD processors. You know, the hard disk basically keeps all your data, including videos, documents, photos, and other system files. Small laptops generally have about 320 GB of space. But if you really have quite a lot of stuff to store, then you should go for a laptop with a hard disk of at least 500 GB. Yeah, yes. Depending on your budget, you can also go for a laptop with 1 TB space, storage space. You just have to make sure that you buy a laptop with enough storage space according to your tasks and according to what you are going to be keeping on it. So space will also matters a lot. Otherwise, you should always go for a laptop with it over high storage capacity, at least 500 GB. Type 
totally depends on what you use your laptop for. For example, if your laptop is for watching movies or playing games on it, then you should go for uh, we like you should go for a laptop with it of bigger screen size of 17 inches or more. Screen size use your laptop mostly for web surfing or listening to music. Then a small size screen is of about 14.1 inches it should suffice you. It should be enough for you. It can work for you. So also the screen size matters on what you are going to use your laptop for. You are buying lot your laptop. As a buyer you should look for impressive designs no one wants to buy something that that doesn't look great nowadays everyone wants to buy a laptop that is light like which has lightweight slim sleek and good to look at most laptops come with screens that can be twisted to 180 degrees 360 degrees and that can be removed and used as tablets that's very impressive but remember everything comes with it like everything comes at a price so if you want to buy a laptop which can be twisted 360 degrees first consider your budget <laughs> A true gamer or someone who watches Netflix a lot, then you should go for laptop that comes with the HD or full HD video support. Like you should keep this in your mind. If you don't want to end up watching pixelated videos, which can be such a turn off, you should always go for a graphic like a laptop with a good or over high. HD graphic processor. Like uh, another thing one should consider when buying a PC is the battery. This is again another important factor to consider before buying a laptop. A good battery life is important. If you work or play on your laptop almost all the time, a poor battery life always going to hinder your workflow. Go for laptops that can work at least four to six hours without charging and without blacking out. Uh, Lastly, the brand of a laptop matters a lot. The brand makes a huge difference, actually. Avoid brands that you haven't heard of before. No, you are not you are unsure of you should always go for the leading brands like Dell, Asus, HP, Apple, Lenovo, Microsoft. There are very many good brands on the market, but if you know that you are not sure of it, you shouldn't also go for unless if someone told you that it's really good and it's really genuine. Otherwise, thank you for watching. We we'll meet in the next episode. Have a good life, protect yourself, take care about your family in this pandemic time. Stay safe, stay at home. <laughs>